Alright guys, what's up? I'm back. Last you guys seen of us, we were at the pond catching telepias and kind of forgot about what we were doing and also forgot to do kind of a recap of that day because it was late, but it's the next day. As you guys can see, I have two tilapias, one that I caught, one that my sister's boyfriend caught. This one's huge, bro. It's like a giant. And also caught um, some shrimp prawns six of them see that so right now we currently have let's take you guys over here and look we have charcoal baby the thing that he bought you lit so plans for this fish um i'm just gonna set the trifle right up on that plants we're gonna throw one in the steamer which is currently in the kitchen and also put one on the hibachi and um, you guys didn't see from this guy because I don't know what this guy's been doing recently. Yeah, sorry, Gangi. Work, 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 work. But I am here today. So again, like Jeff said, we get some farm raised talops caught from the beautiful waters of Lake Waiwa. Lake Waiwa. We're gonna just try chance them, bro. Straight up, one on a grill, one in a steamer. I mean, I never ate tilapia in my life, but there's a first time for everything. And hopefully, I'm gonna get scarred psychologically like I did when I first ate goat, bro. So. <laughs> Here we go, gang. Yeah, so kind of what's going on right now. I need to currently clean them because we didn't clean them that day. Um, needed kind of the dead bag kind of is probably going to stink when I open it. Also, they didn't post in a while because we haven't had any clips. We haven't been doing anything. Um, apologize for that. But we we'll just bought a light. You guys will see that soon. We bought a uh, dive light in a sense, like a waterproof light. We're going to use that a lot more and make a lot better videos on that. So you guys see a lot more from that later. But for now, I'm gonna clean this fish and we'll bring you guys back at the prepping, kind of like about to cook it portion of things. See you guys then. So. All right guys, as you can see, we have the prawns. You guys would have seen it catch it. We only caught six. These things are impossible to catch. We got minced garlic up in here. Got some butter. Hopefully I'm done my GoPro. Is that ready to put the prawn in? Okay, open it. You guys hear all these people talking in the background? Okay, okay. Yes, they do have eggs, but it was farm raised, so it doesn't matter. If you guys could smell this right now, this smells so good. Those pinches hurt. You see that? They don't look like nothing, but them hurt. I got pinched by them. Well, welcome back to you guys the finished product because I'm outside doing something real quick. So I just wanted to show you guys this one in the pan. We'll be right back with the finished product. Um, I have got the GoPro running. You guys don't understand the hassle I just went through to do this. Can you grab the, the headlight off my head, please? Because I'm looking at Michael. Um, so this is what we have going on. Our fire is kind of dead at the moment. You guys want to see? Sorry if you guys hear a bang. Sorry. I'm, you guys want to see? I have a portable charger because my freaking GoPro is dead. And my other battery is being dumb. So, hold up. Let me pull this around. Make sure the wire is not in the way. Hold that. Sorry, I'm trying to figure everything out. Okay, so this is what we got going on. We got our two tilapias that we caught, not bought, because we caught it and bought it if that counts. We got ash all over our foil. We got some mushrooms, some bok choy, some. This is the secret ingredient right here. You guys see this? Oh, hold on, back up the light. That is fabulous. And some ginger, and our fire that is currently dead. Watch, it's still hot. Actually, it's just right there. Come on, let's get this wire right now. This man is behind that thing. My GoPro isn't charging. Hold up. Make this real quick. Again, this is our su super simple recipe, born and raised in the USA. Before we do that, let us crush our ginger. I should do this in the house because it's fucking hot, bro. Do it on the table, I mean on the, on the, the cooler, right down. Do it on the cooler. Okay. So here we go, guys, just regular ginger. Okay. Hey! Gotta crush them, though. That's the best, that's the best, best way. 
If the audio is scuffed, I don't know. It's probably not, but if it is, let me know. I'll probably like put some spray in the thing. Hey, knock it off. My dogs are losing it. It's cool to go and stop. Okay. We're back. Right. Technical difficulties. My dog was like losing it. Mm -hmm. He had to go cut the uh, crush the ginger in the house because the cooler would have flopped. Sir. We're back. So, what we like do is take our little <laughs> fresh gravy, wahiwa tilapia, brother. Okay. Hey. Now, I don't know if you guys are like me, but you know, growing up, I was spoiled. Hey. We came from a family that dove a lot and fished a lot, so we never have to eat tilapia. Tilapia always gone bad rap, but we're gonna see today if it's really, really as bad as it seems, okay? I apologize for the dogs barking in the back. I don't know what they're like losing already. Hey! Mm -hmm. Sorry, okay, guys, so we got a lot. What we're gonna do is, the fish is already scored as you can see, so we get our ginger right here. Courtesy of me. Mm-hmm. And remember guys, the ginger, any type of herb that you use, ginger, the um, tangla, the mint leaf, Crush them, that way you get the full effect from them. You release hey. those aromatics and get them going real, real, real good. Okay, so we get our ginger. Next, we like take the tongue lot, lemongrass, basically. Uh, some guys use the, some guys like the leaf. Eh, me, not so much, because most of the flavor to me is actually in the bottom stalk over here. So I usually just dump the leaves and then I just take the back of my knife we fish real quick. What is going on in my dogs right okay. now? Oh, that. And then I just like to take this. Oh. Yeah, I turned the camera back on. Sorry again, guys. The dogs is losing. There's a wild dog running around behind my house, and they are not having it with that dog. And this little kid behind me. Okay. This guy's losing it. Okay, so. Here we go, Gangi. Okay. Our aromatics, our lemongrass, our ginger. Put one inside. Hey. When she steams, she get all these nice, sweet smelling come aromatics gonna come out. The magic. Right here, brother. The Lee Kam Key action. Black bean garlic sauce. But again, I wish you brothers had smell of vision man. This is already smelling winners. Okay, so let's move our aromatics off to the side a little bit. Do you mind chilling, bro? Okay. Welcome with the black bean. Kind of up to you if how much you like put. You can put some, but uh, I wouldn't go too, too heavy because sometimes the thing can come out real salty. So you don't want to put too, too much. But of course, you like enough in there that as the fish cook and the water from the meat release and all of that, you got a nice sweet gravy action going on. I don't know if I mentioned this, but that's farmer's tilapias. We caught them at a local like like a thing that they have over here. It's like a farm place where you can catch your own um, tilapias and prawns. As you guys might have seen the prawns and as you guys might have seen we caught it. Um, here's this little goon over here. Oh, my dogs are losing it. Hey! There's a wild dog running around. They don't they don't like that. So they're like trying to get into it and like bust it up. In the dog? Yeah, it's in the back. I just seen it. It's probably the big pickle. Okay, we'll just grab another yeah, ingredient. Good. Again, yeah, sorry. A bit water like, is just to help out, cut down the thickness of the paste. Okay, and it's also gonna help make one good gravy. Again, you know, no worry. I know it look like plenty, but trust me, it ain't gonna water them down. If anything, it gonna mix just good enough where she gonna come out tasting real, real, real good.
some small tilapia. We got a nice uh, fire going, not too hot, so it ain't gonna burn them and stick to the foil. Yeah, but not too low that not gonna cook. This is pretty much just right. You like them just slow and steady steam. So all that moisture, all that gravy, all that liquid, all stays into the fish. You got a nice, perfectly juicy fish. Okay, so while we get that here, take you guys back inside real quick. Get started on fish number two. Okay guys, so here we are back again. This time we're gonna make fish number two. It's kind of pretty much the same sauce, but what we're gonna do is a little bit different variation, add some vegetables and we got the, the same end, ginger. It's gonna be a little bit different too. A black bean, a water, shout out to Konais for the cup. Um, black pepper, and this is the shizu. We got mushrooms, some of that. Uh, oh, here's the prawns. I forgot to show you guys this. But this is the finished product of the prawns. Hmm. Butter garlic, baby. Butter and garlic. Fresh water lobsters. Mm -hmm. You know this? I don't put salt. The black bean get enough salt. You put any more salt and oh, be a little bit strong, bro. Okay, so all I'm gonna do is just give them a little bit of black pepper. And by the way, this is a giant tilapia. If you guys know where we caught oh, this, yeah. this thing is huge. You know that, brother. Courtesy of brother Eli Jenkins. <laughs> <laughs> Bamboo post Skarima. <laughs> okay guys, so yeah. We got our black pepper. Okay, so what I like to do now is I like take my foil. Okay. Put this on the side real quick. Show you guys how for prep on tilapia, you have a go catch yourself on tala. Mm -hmm. I just don't recommend eating them out of the canal because you don't know what to eat. Go to yes, the, go to like where is Whitmore Village? It's somewhere around there. Oh not Whitmore Village. Mm -hmm. What am I talking about? Like why he was somewhere. Look him up. And come up your farm, catch your own come up here. Yes, and again, same thing. Give him a little boat action. Hey, with the foil. The this is a mandatory man. That way it's gonna trap all that juice. To make a nice sweet gravy. The talap smell actually not bad, bro. I used it to smell in the Wainai Canal action, but this one actually smells pretty decent. Not too bad. Not yet. I was gonna sniff them, but you see this pepper? Big hachu after that. <laughs> hey, I'm all honest. If talap is good, you guys will see me over there every weekend. Big little pose. Oh, you know that. We'll be catching tilaps. I recommend you eat the farm one, not the canal one. <laughs> yeah. Okay. I know tilaps is the kind, but some big difference. This one, bro, no more that, how should I say it nicely? No more that small kind of sewage smell to them. You know what I mean? <laughs> <laughs> I know we've been slacking the videos, but as you guys know, summertime's coming around. And hopefully we can get another one like this for the wall, because this is my yeah. most prized fish I've ever caught. Fun fact about how I caught that fish. Whipping, 20 pound test. You'll see that video soon. When I have time. Go back to the main video, this one. So here we go. Tilapia. Now that we get our little boat set up. This guy literally made a boat. Okay. Of course, we're going to put him in our little steaming bowl right here. It doesn't even fit. Good job. Nice. Don't worry, bro. You don't improvise. Improvision, improvision of yeah. We gotta make sure we catch all that gravy, bro. There is no way around it. As you guys can see, I was not a Michelin trained chef, so. <laughs> Bear with me if you can. It's all homegrown backyard action, man. Homegrown. Franny's eye. We're singing two different songs over here. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Come up. Alright gang. Show off some other stuff while this guy's doing that because he's taking forever to do the boat. It's not beautiful, but here we go. Okay. So our veggies, bro. We get some baby bok choy. And we get some fresh mushrooms. Yeah, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna make us one little bed over here. This and thing and normally it wouldn't be this fancy, but for the vid you gotta make them fancy. Oh yeah. <laughs> you know. Normally it would just be on fish in the pan with some of this. Mm -hmm. But I wanted to eat some bok. I had this a long time ago on steamed yes, fish. It's really good. So we got ourselves some bok choy, and we're gonna just use it. Oh no, yeah. I'm putting everything in here because the bok choy is always the best part. Which part? Yeah, I know. It's just you gotta soak up all the juices. Ooh. These mushrooms gonna be good too. Action, guys. Anybody like buy one uh, steamed talapli? Fresh veggies. 
Let me know. No, oh, the shrimp's on top. Sir, so we can get our talap over here. Smoking look professional. Oh, bro, you know that. You know, back when I was uh, doing my chef training in France. <laughs> chef training in France. Oh, and now you guys can see him bust the ginger. Earlier, you guys couldn't because of the cooler yes, water. No need worry if you get a little bit skin. We're not going to eat the ginger. What we just like is just the if flavor. If you rock it and you eat ginger, you eat it. Oh, you animal, straight up. If that only was loud, I apologize. Small tank broke the table and everything. Broke the knife. No worries, no worries. $4.99 Walmart, brother. <laughs> Let's go buy one more after. Wally World Special Hotel. Just pawn his butt like Maui, yeah, dog. You know what I'm saying? Oh, I never heard that song in a long time. You know that. Okay, so we got our crushed ginger. I like crushing it to me. Is it just me or does this fish have a giant gut cavity? Sure, can get big gut cavity. But that's why we need to fill them up with the ginger, if you know what I mean. <laughs> Sorry, guys. I gotta throw in the comedy, you know what I mean? Okay, so we get ginger, there we go. Watch this is looking awesome, bro. I gotta say, I'm a damn good chef, huh? <laughs> this guy's funny. You put the whole thing? Oh, yes. Go big or go home, my brother. Okay, again, lemongrass. This one, I'm telling you, bro. Take the knife, take the time, take the knife, and bust this boy up because when you crush him like that, bro, you release everything. get the flavoring anyway but to me if you don't do them like this you end up not getting the full effect because some of it still stays trapped inside the lemongrass and as you guys know in the catching part of this i kind of don't remember what happened that whole thing because i was hot you get out of this bad boy it's gonna be unbelievable forgot to put the ginger on too early okay so black bean sauce that is far there's a paste and a sauce oh no yep. what was the other one no there's a different one right this is the paste there's a sauce mm -hmm. you said huh so as you can see right here we are kind of big fish and even the vegetables themselves are gonna render some liquid what was it big word render <laughs> Okay, so we're gonna put some black bean sauce on here. Then we go, we're gonna put some water after. So I don't know about you guys, but I love the smell of ginger, bro. Oh, you probably love the smell of that. Online, everything. Okay, so get this all over. Oh, bro, this team make one gravy. Unreal. And we're gonna even top them off, whacking them with the smoking hot peanut oil, bro. Unless you know oh, he's going to full nine. Oh, you know that. He's doing a whole thing. This is just beautiful. Look at that. Oh, this time. Oh, bro. Oh, bro. So, the fish there, as you guys can see, just simple. Black bean sauce right on the top. That looks good already. Oh, you know, honestly. It looks good, bro. Everything I do is good. I think it's just a foil reflecting it from mm -hmm. back to me. You know what I'm saying? Again, a little bit of water, okay? I put it in. Again, look like a little bit of plenty water, but trust me, when that thing melt down. <laughs> okay, so with that, now we get that done. Okay, we're gonna put our ginger back on. Make sure you can go. Oh, I hit the camera. Right. Okay. Oh, this is looking and smelling good already, guys. I wish you guys was right here in my kitchen. Okay, and then in our mushrooms, all going in the same place, bro. We're not Michelin chefs, we're keeping it real. Just sprinkle right on top of that. Oh, that's it. What, man, you don't know where restaurant comes. Right. Some steamed tilapia with fresh veggies, $14.95. Expensive. Oh. Hold it. 
Okay. Another thing. I'm pretty sure you can do this recipe with any fish, not just a tilapia. I'm almost positive. Quote me if I'm not. I'm pretty sure you can even go to the store and buy like um. Have you ever been to like a sack and save or like any basically any supermarket? Seafood city, dog. Like any supermarket. <laughs> no, like you can buy um in the like, well my local sack and save has it in a blue tray, like um these mahi mahi blocks or stuff like that. I'm pretty sure you can do it with that. If you guys do, please let me know how it comes out because I'll try it one day, but not today because we're using tilapia. Mm -hmm. in this up a little bit just to make sure we catch all the gravy and we don't lose them and she going right in the steamer oh god this is ready we can smut hot on the grill too already eh? mm -hmm. yeah we'll put this on the way okay guys ready straight into the so here we are at our steamer kitchen thing you got it and uh sorry but you know <laughs> Times hot, COVID, you know what I mean? So no, we get the hot stuff. If, you guys, if only you guys knew how long, how old this thing was, you guys would understand why it broke. This thing is old. Probably older than me. Been with us, should have good in the bag. Um, this is what we have for dinner. See that shit? Uh, we grew it at earlier some bacon wrapped mushrooms, some shrimp, soaking Thai in dressing with butter. Put some water right, in guys. the pot. Once we get the water boiling, boom. Just put this bad boy on top of that ink and just hmm. oh, talk to me, my love. So that's that. Um, go. We're gonna go check on the fish outside and we'll come over there. Yeah. So we're back outside mm. at the grill. Oh. It, that smells really good. Like, if you guys could smell that right now, that smells really good. That, that mm. smells good. So I'll probably give it a little while more. Yes, sir. So what we're gonna do right now is. This is important, guys. Flip it. The fire is low. You have to what flip we're it. We're going to pull this out. And all I'm doing right now, basically, is I just moving the poles around. You can burn the tongs, bro. Back on the fire Baby goes. Right back there. Again, because the fire low, keep them covered, retain some of the heat. This boy, eh, I'd say give him another maybe five, ten minutes, bro. In there. Okay, black bean talapia, cousin. So, that was that. Um, We're going to come back at like the, probably like the end product. It's not really halfway checked. We're not really halfway checked. But well, we'll come back at the end product and show you guys what happened and we'll do a taste test because I want to see what talapia tastes like. So we'll see you guys at the end. So as you guys can see, I'm back. I'm fresh out the shower. My girlfriend is charged, so I can do this. Uh, this guy's back. Here we go, guys. Magic moment. Hey, knock it off. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. It smells good. Fire's dead already. I can basically stick my hand in there. Blown off the ash. That magic moment. Mm. <laughs> okay, guys, this is the magic moment. This is the magical. Undead. So this is the one off the grill. The one in the steamer is still in the steamer currently. Mm. That one was bigger, so I'm gonna give it a little extra. We gotta show my lens on for baby. Oh, can you see that? Could have added a little bit more water. No man, you like they gonna first kill it a lot. My lens fogged up. There it is clear now. Alright guys, like I said, I'm not a tilapia kind of guy. I just appreciate sure it's the first time he's ever ate a tilapia. This is definitely the first time I've ever ate a tilapia. I've never ate one.
to say, bro. All my life, I've been told tilapia is rubbish fish. But these farm rain, rain, farm rain tilapia is some good deals, bro. The meat is soft, juicy, moist. Oh, you guys gotta try this, and I tell you. Go check out that place in while, while you are. Take your family with you, bro. A couple dollars, ground bamboo pole, hook some farm raised tilaps. Follow that recipe, man, and I promise you, you're not gonna be disappointed. Brother Jab, if you like to take one quick kill. What's up, Alec? Wait, hold on. This guy has. Oh, sorry, guys. Oh. Like I said, I've never ate a tilapia. Oh, you gotta try this some dog. So I'm you. telling you. I mean, it's the But um, so with when it comes to freshwater fish, especially because it's the first water, first freshwater fish I ever ate, you always hear on YouTube that it has like a weird like Muddy mud taste. taste, yeah. But this is like doesn't have a taste at all. It's probably because it's farm raised, but it doesn't have a taste at all. But it is really good because it's really soft. Mm. Yeah. But that was that one. Um. We're gonna come back when we have the other one, which is in the right now. So we'll bring, turn the camera back on. We have that all set up. All right. Just a moment. Nelly. That actually smells really good. Smell a vision. Just didn't take the foil. Off. Yep. All right inside that pan. Yeah. The foil not gonna rip. Oh, not. I feel my rip though. Chubby nip. Mm -hmm. What the f? Yes, sir. Uh, okay, guys, this is the finished product. Almost finished, not finished yet. Okay, we get the last but not least secret ingredient. This, you ask me, is what makes it, bro. Okay. What we get left, what we're gonna do next is we're gonna hit them with some smoking hot peanut oil. And that will give them that final hoorah. It's gonna actually, when you put them on, it'll whack that aromatics and that hot oil will sizzle those aromatics and release the flavorings in there. And to be honest, this thing is looking good already. Well, we'll wait for that to heat up. We'll be right back. We should. So here we go. Here okay. we go. This is our smoking hot peanut oil. This one is the one, bro. This is gonna hit those aromatics, crisp them all up. And if you guys watch the other video, me and oil don't get along, so I'm kind of yeah, staying so back. Be from very this. careful. We only might put enough. Not too much. So you just hit it with some oil. Not as like like glistening. There we Look. go, guys. You know all this beautiful gravy, some fresh mushrooms. You got some baby bok choy on the bottom. Man, good job. Wait, let me take a picture real quick for the thumbnail. Right, we're gonna thumbnail picture real quick. We'll be right back. Okay, guys. So this is. We're on the tasting table. I'm on the wrong side. Switch sides. So over here we get. Tilapia number one. Small kind. As you can see, brother, yeah, small kind freaking cracks already. This here is tilapia number two. And since Javin is on the camera, I'm gonna give him the luxury of being able to take the first kill. Why you gotta just hold the light? I get the, the camera. Don't forget, guys, okay? Get plenty gravy, bro. No skid. Go get him. Let me turn, me turn that spoon over to you. So I'm using a fork. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Talk to me, talk to me. Some mushroom. Get some bok choy. Oh, we gotta lift the fish up, guys. Well, we'll need that up though. Right. That bite I just took was crazy good. With the mushroom 
you know, all the mushroom soaking and all that stuff, that was really good. But, um... That's you, bro. Watch out. Alright, so it's this guy's turn to taste it now. But that was really good. That was, like, really, really good. Fucked wow. up, yeah. Who would have known, man? Oh, this boy is hot. Not too bad, nah, I think it wasn't that bad. I thought I was bringing shit on my tongue by now. But the thing actually tastes real good, man. It does actually. So I guess really it's good. not so much the fish. Maybe it's just the preparation is the one that count. But I gotta say, I'm pretty surprised at how well this fish came out man you guys should try them too and i'm pretty sure you can think twice about tilapia yeah. guarantee hmm. sorry no mind me yeah. wait let's try bok choy dude i'm gonna try them out there the mushroom just kill it because it thinks so cool about his stuff. <laughs> yeah. You gotta try them. Seriously, man. You gotta try them. And you never gonna look at tilapia the same. Guarantee. Like you said. Hold on. It's really good for a tilapia fish that I never thought would be that good. Probably because it's farm raised and because the preparation made it so good, but it's really good. Soft. Um, and when you put it like, when you put mushroom, I think the mushroom makes it really good because when you take a bite of fish and mushroom, the mushroom soaks up the, the sauce and it's just like a, you get the sauce flavor again. One last look at the fish. And uh, so that was that. We're gonna go do shoot an outro and we'll be right back. All right, we're back. Here's the end of the video. Um, Currently my, if you see your background change, they cut down my trees, bro. My tree background, they cut it down. But um, so that was a video on us catching a tilapia and prawns. Uh, catching prawns in a pool is a lot harder than I thought it was gonna be. Oh. That shit was like, damn. Unreal. Yeah, that took forever. Um, tilapias was easy, we was plucking them. You guys didn't see the whole thing, but we did catch a lot of tilapias, like a mm -hmm. lot. Uh, what else happened in that video? We ate a tilap, I ate my first tilap. Never thought I'd eat a tilap. Also my first Same freshwater yeah, fish. Yep. Never ate a freshwater fish in my life. First Cause time I, I live ever. on an island surrounded by salt water and I've always eaten saltwater fish. I've never had a reason to eat a freshwater fish. That was the first freshwater fish I ate. It was really good though. Like honestly, if you guys ever like have like farm raised tilapia, I wouldn't suggest taking them out of any canals. Farm raised yeah. only. It's really good. You guys should try it. Mm -hmm. But that's it for me. Let's see if this guy had anything to say. Like I said, bro, that day was just filled with family fun and it's something you can do with your family. Get up, get out. You know, I know with COVID, you know, there's a lot of restrictions, but believe it or not, it was actually fun, man. Everybody was spaced apart, so it was safe. The kids had a blast, and we ended up with really good fish. You know, we never thought it would be, but it turned out that way. So when you get the chance, man, take your family, your son, your daughters, anybody, man. Just go fishing, spend some time together, and even end up with some good grinds, bro. Aloha. All right, yo. But yeah, that's it. We'll be uploading a lot more now. Hopefully, we get some more videos with the new light. But until then, we'll see you guys later.